Hello guys, welcome back to Moto ADV channel, we hope you guys are doing well. Today we gonna show 2024 KTM 1390 Super Duke first look review and explain the details of the bike. We hope you guys enjoy it, please don't forget to subscribe for more videos, thanks for watching. The upcoming 2024 KTM 1390 Super Duke R has made another appearance. It has been spotted testing closely in Europe and the new spy shots reveal many details of the upgraded Austrian Street Fighter. KTM will likely remove the vertically stacked LED slats and replace them with LED projector headlights flanked by boomerang-shaped DRLs. Even the fuel tank shape along with its extensions, the rear seat and the overall design seems much more aggressive than before. While the 1390 Duke is set to look just as sporty and youthful, the cut's increases seem to have increased evidently. It'll be powered by KTM's LC8V2 twin motor, but the output could possibly receive a small bump. In the current 1390 Duke, the engine makes about 180 brake horsepower and 140 newton meters. Even the engine tune could be slightly altered. This motor is linked to a six-speed gearbox and gets a bi-directional quickshifter. Other rider aids like traction control, ABS, ride modes, wheelie control and engine braking levels are also expected on the 2024 KTM 1390 Duke R. We also expect KTM to offer features like smartphone connectivity for navigation, call, music and SMS notifications. The test bike scene here is equipped with adjustable WPUSD front forks and a monoshock. Meanwhile, the braking hardware comprises dual front and a single rear disc with Brembo calipers. This setup is mounted on 17-inch alloy wheels wrapped in sticky road-biased rubber. KTM has also given the test bike a full-system Acropovic exhaust system, but it could be offered as an accessory rather than a standard fitment. KTM currently has the 390 series as its most powerful offering for the Indian market. While it did bring the 790 Duke in limited numbers a few years ago, the probability of it bringing any other big bikes from its stable to our market is low. The 1301 cubic centimeters machines now make up the 1290 Super Duke range with the Super Duke R, RR, Arevo, and GT, but they now seem set to be replaced by a new 1390 range. Some KTM dealers had been updated with a new 1390 engine, which appears identical to the 1290 and has a similar price, around £8,000, including VAT, to the smaller engine. There is also a second variant of the engine with a CN designation, possibly indicating that it will be built in China and probably by CF Moto. The KTM sister brand builds 790 engines for use in both its own bikes and KTMs, as well as a 1,279 cubic centimeters version for its 1250 TRG of the 1,301 cubic centimeters LC8 motor found in the aforementioned KTM 1290 range. It's not possible to tell exactly how large the new 1390 engine will be due to KTM's nomenclature which normally involves rounding up or down, but it would seem reasonable to assume that it will fall somewhere between 1,349 cubic centimeters and 1,449 cubic centimeters. Of course, the larger engine makes the possibility of even more power and torque from KTM's Hypernix distinct, and potentially for the Super Adventure range, looking a little further down the line. The current KTM 1290 Super Duke Arevo refers to the top trim with a semi-active suspension. However, the word Evo stands for evolution, and it is safe to say the Austrian brand is doing justice to the abbreviation. And now, in the middle of 2023, the forthcoming 1290 has been cited diligently undergoing testing in Europe, and the fresh spy shots disclose a lot of details. Now, we don't know about you, but that is quick progress in our eyes. Let's look at some of the factors that will make the new Super Duke are the ultimate naked bike out there. The element that immediately catches the eye concerns precisely the front which, as in the case of the Super Duke Paparazzi in a prototype guys already last autumn, abandons the element divided lengthwise in two for a new structure based on two LED projectors arranged one above the other. In particular, in the new images of the Super Adventure, the front appears to be even more developed with the daytime running lights forming a sort of LED frame. 
Furthermore, a cover on the upper lamp suggests the presence of the radar sensor more integrated into the design of the front compared to the current one.